Hello viewers, in this module, let us know about the land resources and land degradation. I am Dr. N. Gunavati, Assistant Professor and Head, Department of Chemistry, Narmala College for Women. Land resources and land degradation. Land is the most valuable natural resources for mankind. Forests maintain whole balance of nature and conserve valuable wild life. Crop lands are upon which all crops grow and pastures are on which cattle graze. Land on which rural or urban settlements are made and industries are set up are known as land resources. It is most essential to maintain the quality of land. Areas under shallow water are known as wetlands and occur between dry and water bodies. It has to be protected. It is very essential to maintain the equilibrium of ecosystem of earth. Nearly one-fifth of the earth's surface is land. Fifteen percentage are not usable because it consists of ice or snow or it is a desert or mountains. 41% of them are forest, croplands, grazing land and arid lands. Waste lands include alkaline, saline, arid, rocky and sandy deserts and the mountains and the highly uneven land. Part of the waste land is also used as a residential land. Land is also needed for transport, industries, commerce and recreation etc. 46% live in villages and therefore it is very important for proper plants because vast population depend on land for their livelihood. If forests are depleted or pastures are overgrazed or toxic industrial waste are dumped on it, valuable land will be converted to waste land. So, if utilized carefully and intelligently, land becomes a renewable natural resource. Maintaining some natural areas as protected area is also essential to conserve vast biodiversity. Land Degradation Land degradation is a process in which the value of the biophysical environment is affected by a combination of human-induced processes acting upon the land viewed as any change or disturbance to the land perceived to be undesirable. Hazards are excluded as a cause. However, human activities can indirectly affect phenomena such as floods and bushfires. 40% of the world's agricultural land is seriously degraded. Overcutting Overcutting of vegetation occurs when people cut forest, woodlands and shrublands to obtain timber, fuel wood and other products at a pace exceeding the rate of natural regrowth. Overgrazing is the grazing of natural pastures at a stocking intensity, uh, the stock leaving carrying capacity. This also leads to land degradation. Severe land degradation affects a significant portion of the earth's durable lands, decreasing the wealth and economic development of nation. Some of its impacts on environment are temporary or permanent decline in productive capacity of the land, action in the land's capacity to provide resources for human livelihoods, loss of biodiversity, shifting ecological risk. Uh, 
uh, in addition to the usual types of land degradation that have been known for centuries like water wind and the mechanical erosion physical chemical and biological degradation four other types of degradation has emerged in the 50 years pollution often chemical due to agricultural industrial mining or commercial activities loss of arable land due to urban construction road building land conversions agriculture expansion etc artificial radioactivity sometimes accidental and land use constraints associated with armed conflicts effects of land degradation are soil texture and soil structure gets destructed there is a loss of soil fertility loss of valuable nutrients increase in water logging salinity alkalinity acidity problem and loss of economic social and biodiversity man induced landslides 36 types of land degradation has been assessed it has been induced or aggravated by human activities example sheet erosion slitting artification salinization urbanization etc mining also causes landslide which leads to land degradation and overgrazing also leads to land degradation some of the causes are mentioned here like land clearance agricultural depletion livestock inappropriate irrigation urban sparrow vehicle off roading quarry of stones increase in field size exposure of naked soil monoculture uh, dumping of mo- non biodegradable trash in- invasive spe- species soil degradation soil contamination soil erosion soil acidification and loss of soil carbon sensitivity and resilience measures of the vulnerability of a landscape to degradation both factors combine to explain the degree of vulnerability sensitivity is a degree to which a land system undergoes change due to natural forces human interventions or a combination of both resilience is the ability of a landscape to absorb change without significantly altering the relationship between the relative importance and number of individuals and species that compose the community significant land degradation from sea water river delta and on low lying islands is a potential hazard sea level from climate change increases the salinity level and reaches levels where agriculture becomes impossible in a very low lying areas thank you for listening to this video on land resources and land degradation let's save nature i hope you have understood about the various land resources and the effects of land degradation as responsible citizens let us save nature thank you